hi guys and welcome back to another edition of Station Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to animate a still. We're going to start out and use this snail here. You can use whatever kind of image you know that you feel suitable for animating a bird, a butterfly, whatever. We're going to go ahead and drop the snail into our composition and we're going to duplicate it two times. You can do this by hitting Command D and then we're going to name these shell, head, and tail. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab the pen tool and we're going to split these layers up. So we're going to take the shell layer and trace around the shell and isolate that. Once we have that, we can go ahead and we're going to feather this mask a little bit, shrink our mat by negative one, and that should be good. All right, once we have that finished, let's turn that layer off, and then we'll move on to the head layer. And once again, we're going to take our pen tool, and we're going to trace around the head layer. Again, I'm moving kind of quickly here just to show you guys how this is done. Obviously, you want to take more time and precision and, uh, you know, really perfect your mask so you can get the best results. And then this can be kind of rough around the edge here because that part will be hidden. Once again, we are going to feather our mask and just bring it down, maybe negative one there. Okay. And then we will do the same with the tail, tracing around the tail and isolating that as well. And once again, feather and change the expansion down to negative one. Okay, great. So now we have our three isolated independent layers. We have the shell, the head, and the tail. I'm going to refine this a little bit, get rid of some of these rougher edges. Now what we'll do is we will animate the head and the tail by keyframing the positions. Oh, we'll go over about two seconds. Put these in 3D space, that way you can just grab it along the x-axis and move it in like so. And then we'll pick another keyframe and move it back out. Alright, so once you get this motion down here, what you can do then is you can copy and paste these keyframes continuously for your head and your tail. Let's paste these here and then let's move forward about two more seconds and we'll paste them again and you can see this consistent motion we're starting to get here and then let's do the same for the tail we're going to copy these and we will move forward to our keyframes you can toggle through here to match and paste and then we'll toggle forward again and paste again now to make this go a little quicker we can copy even more of these move up about two more seconds and paste these again we'll do this for the tail and we can go ahead and do this for the head as well so now we have this consistent motion here of the snail kind of moving in and out but this is basically the image that I have rendered out here. You know, you can use this in anything. You can do this with a bird, a butterfly, uh, any still image that you could imagine that you could animate, you could pretty much do this with. So, you know, just use your imagination and, um, you know, have at it. All right, guys, see you next time.